Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I made this French cleat wall behind me and all the tool hangers. So if you want to see how I did that, just watch this video. Before we get started, let's talk about what are French cleats. So a French cleat is a board that is cut at 45 degree angles that will then lock into each other. And the way this works is I made a sample board. You screw one cleat into the wall with the 45 degree angle beveled up. And then that gives you something to hang your other cleat on. And then whatever you want to hang, you use the opposite 45 degree angle and it slides in like that, locks it in place. Good thing about this system is you can move things around and rearrange very easily. French cleat system was actually used on boats to tie down cargo because it is easy to move things around and you don't have to worry about it falling off the wall with the rocking boat because it won't go nowhere. Anyway. Enough about a history lesson. Let's actually build this French cleat wall now. I start this project off by painting the back wall a dark green color. The official paint color is Charcoal Smoke by PPG Paints. And this is actually the same color that I use on my workbench and this is just some leftover paint that I had. Once that paint was dry, it was time to start the construction of the French cleat system. The first thing I wanted to do was build a box around the miter saw, and this would serve a couple different purposes. First, it would improve miter saw dust collection, and secondly, it would create a perimeter for the miter saw, that way none of the tools on the wall would interfere with the saw while it's in use. Once I get the box assembled around the miter saw, I then take the leftover plywood that I have and rip it down at the table saw into three and a quarter inch thick strips. And this will later be turned into French cleats, but we'll get there. Before you can start turning these boards into French cleats, you first have to set your table saw properly. So you wanna start by setting the angle of your blade to 45 degrees, and then the fence, you wanna set it at one and a quarter inches. This will ensure you get two identical French cleats from every board that you strip down. I also clamped a scrap piece of plywood to the fence, and this is going to help keep downward pressure on the board as I feed the board through the table saw. And this helps keep my fingers away from the blades because a lot of y'all are really concerned about my fingers. But as you can see here, I still have all 10 of them. Once all your French cleats are cut over at the table saw, it's time to start hanging these cleats on the wall. The way I did this is I started by getting using two inch spacer blocks at the bottom, being sure my first row is perfectly level. And then I would use the first row as a reference for all the rows going up. For the rows going up, I ended up using three inch spacer blocks and just worked my way up the wall and Brad nailed them all in place. I would then later go back and mark out all of my stud locations, pre-drill, countersink, and screw all the cleats into studs. And this just makes it rock solid so you can really hang a lot of weight on your wall. For the screws, I opted to use black drywall screws, and I know this isn't the strongest screws to use, but I really like the way the black screws actually stood out on the plywood and kind of matched the top of my miter saw station. So this was for function and for looks. As you can see behind me, my whole French cleat wall is finished, and today we're gonna work on some custom tool holders for all my tools. So let's see what we can come up with. The first tool holder I made are these U-shaped brackets for the track of my track saw. And the track just slides right in here like this. And then whenever I need it, I can get it in and out super easy. So that's design number one. All 
The next tool holder I made is for my clamps. This is made specifically for my parallel clamps to slide into. And I made this one a little heavy duty. That way I can hold my five like 60 inch parallel clamps. So this is it. Reinforced on the sides with some screws. And this will hold five parallel clamps easy and make it a little longer so it sits on multiple cleats and gives it a little extra stability. The next tool hanger I came up with is this simple chisel holder. So screw a hole in the top and then cut these slots at the table saw and then the chisel slides right in there like that. It's held in place. And they can't come out the top unless you give it a little turn and then pull it out. The next tool hanger I came up with is for my hand saws. So this is just a board that I cut as deep as I could at the table saw. And whenever it's on the French cleat, you just put the saw in like this and it's held in place. And then we want to get it out, just slide it out, put it back in. Next tool holder I made is for my corner clamps or my right angle clamps. And I have three different sizes and I made this to hold all three and get them in and out really easy. And then I put a little lip on the front of all of these. That way they can't fall off like that. Ooh, dramatic. The next tool holder I came up with is simply just a magnetic strip screw to a piece of plywood, screw to a French cleat in the back. And this one's super simple and it's good for those tools you just don't really know what to do with. And you don't want to build a holder because you know, it'd be way too complicated. Good thing about a magnetic strip, you don't have to worry about your tools falling off the wall. So, super simple. Next tool holder is simply a small parts organizer with a French cleat screwed to the back of it. It's that simple. The next tool holder I came up with is just a simple shelf. And this is where I will keep my drills, jigsaw, and batteries for the time being. Um, I just switched from Porter Cable to DeWalt and I'm not ready to fully commit to a drill station with the individual slots for the drills just yet. So this will be a good compromise until I can get that. Um, yeah. This is super versatile, and then whenever I make the drill station, I can still use this as just a shelf. This thing's pretty strong too. It can hold 140 pounds. If you don't believe me, check it out. The last tool holder I came up with is just a block with a French cleat on the back and then a screw going through both of them. And this is to hold my trade edge. Well, everybody, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, maybe like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.